Hey everybody, it's Sean Hayes again with uh, 77 Moors. Um, just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody that viewed uh, my first original video and subscribed to my channel. I think I've got about 19 subscribers and around 70 views, which is absolutely humbling. Uh, so thank you again very much. Uh, something I just wanted to bring up in my, my second video, I guess, is when I start to dive into some of the more technical stuff. Um, easy on the topic, I'm, I'm just going to say, is uh, when you're putting your mower away uh, in the fall, uh, what are you doing to your mower? Are, are, are you draining the gas out of it? Are you, uh, what kind of gas do you even put in it? Um, do you need to drain the gas out of it? Uh, did you run it dry? Because there's probably still fuel in it. Um, and then if you're leaving the fuel in, are you using something called fuel stabilizer? Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, fuel actually has a bit of a shelf life. It's got a 30 to 45 days. Um, you know, I try not to go that long at all. Um, but it has a bit of a shelf life and it'll actually turn into like a bit of a jello like material. Uh, so when you're, when you're putting your gas in your lawnmower and you're letting it sit in your garage or your shed or whatever over the winter time, uh, and you go to start your, try and, well, try and start your lawnmower in the spring, it's not going to start. Uh, and the reason is, is because of that gelatin material that's now in your carburetor, your fuel line, your fuel tank, um, you know, and what ends up happening is it, it, because it turns into gelatin, it actually clogs all the jets, the lines, uh, it gets into, there's like a little bowl in the bottom of some of your carburetors, depending on the carburetor style you have. Um, so what ends up happening is the fuel can't get through. And because the fuel is actually broken down a bit, uh, it won't go through your engine, it won't cycle, it won't fire, um, and you'll be prime, 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 pull, prime, 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 pull, it won't start. And then you get frustrated and then you, uh, you end up either doing a few different things. Uh, you're going to take it to a small engine shop. You're going to have them look at it. They're going to clean the carburetor and it's going to cost you money every year. Uh, or, you know, if you're, if you know how to do it yourself, you're going to have to, uh, put it in your garage or whatever like that, prop it up, get the carburetor off it, clean it out, uh, go through that whole process. And then, um, get it all reassembled, get everything put back together, and then hope it starts. Uh, you're going to hope it starts. Uh, some people, uh, you, you, if you drive around uh, in the springtime, you'll find random lawnmowers on the side of the road. Uh, that's because their lawnmower probably didn't start uh, after the spring because they did not uh, use ethanol-free fuel or uh, they didn't drain their gas or uh, what they didn't do was use... Uh, something like this. It's a fuel line stabilizer or a fuel stabilizer. Uh, so what it does is it actually prevent your fuel from turning into a gelatin. It keeps it fresh. It keeps it, you know, a liquid the way it should be. Um, you can do any of those methods, uh, draining your gas out of the tank, draining your gas. Uh, it can be messy. Uh, you know, you can get fuel everywhere. If you don't want fuel all over your hands, you don't want fuel all over, you know, your driveway or inside your garage. Um, you know, I double my, my shop as a wood shop. So it's both wood and, uh, lawnmower repair. Um, I do have a welder, so I don't know. Uh, I have a grinder, uh, a couple different styles of grinder, a bench grinder, a hand grinder. I don't know if sparks are going to be flying. I don't want as much as it could be dried i don't want fuel all over the place because uh, the last thing i want is for it to ignite um, so i personally don't drain gas out of my mower i do uh, high octane fuel ethanol free and i use uh, fuel stabilizer uh, so that keeps uh, that keeps me going pretty good uh, i don't have any issues in the spring uh, you know, I'll, I could pull my lawnmower out of the shed right now and fire it up and it would run. Um, so, you know, there's that. Uh, good advice to use uh, ethanol-free fuel. Maybe you'll run a little bit of stabilizer in it anyway because, in my opinion, I think there's ethanol in all fuels. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is. Uh, I don't 100% know. So don't take me for that uh, word for word. 
Um, so that's just, that's just my opinion. Um, you know, you're going to watch this video and you're going to think, oh, sure, tell me that now. I've already stored my little lawnmower for the last 30 to 45 days. Uh, and that means my lawnmower may not start in the spring. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that could be true. Um, uh, I'm not the first one to post about this. Uh, and again, when, when I stumbled across a uh, fuel line stabilizer, it's, it was right after I bought my mower. And I bought it and it was great and I ran it and it was, uh, it ran great all summer. And then I stored it away for the winter. I pulled it out in the summertime or the springtime and wouldn't start. So I was a little frustrated. I called up my buddy cause he's got the exact same mower. And I'm like, Hey man, did you have problems starting your lawnmower? And he goes, no. I said, I, I, it's brand new. Like I, I just bought it mid summer. Why won't mine start? And he goes, well, did you put fuel stabilizer in it? I'm like, what's that? Uh, and that was about 10, 10, 11, 12 years ago. Um, so he educated me on that stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, great. So what do I got to do now? And um, I actually went on YouTube and I, I, I found a YouTube video to pull my carburetor off, cleaned it out, uh, did all the proper procedures. I, I had the, my phone uh, right beside me paused, did what he did, back to my phone, watched it, paused, back, did what he did. And, uh, you know, it, it, I was new to it. Uh, I'm not mechanically uninclined, if that's even a word. Um, but you know, I, I mean, like I got my fair share of tools You know, I've done my fair share of things on my car. Uh, but I never really messed around with small engine stuff until then. And, uh, to my surprise, I, I did it all, and then I put the mower on the ground, and boom, started. I was like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so ever since then, ever since then, I've always ran stabilizer, and it's I've never had a problem uh, since I started running stabilizer. So you can get it anywhere. Uh, all stores pretty much have it. Uh, you can, in the sense of you can get it at, uh, I believe, Walmart. Uh, has stable I could be wrong uh, Canadian Tire has it Home Depot has it uh, specifically I think the one I have right now is from Home Depot but I could be wrong um, yeah any, anywhere like that has it uh, I imagine uh, what's called PV Mart now I imagine they have it uh, the old TSC um, so yeah you know get yourself some stabilizer follow the directions on the bottle every bottle's a little bit different the mix is going to be a little bit different uh, so, you know, get your gas can, fill it with, uh, high octane gas, get yourself a bottle of stabilizer, follow the directions, add it in. And then, uh, also what I do is I don't keep fuel around more than 30 days. Uh, I just, if I have it more than 30 days, I actually open the gas tank to my car and I dump it in there. Um, well, actually I dump it in either my car or my truck, whichever has the least amount of gas in it. I pour it in there and uh, I get rid of it. And then, uh, you know, the next time I take my car down to the gas station or my truck down to the gas station, I take my little gas can with me, uh, and I fill it up and uh, I keep my fuel fresh. I keep it clean. Um, and I never have a problem starting my mower. So if you have problems starting your mower every spring, this video is absolutely for you. Um, that's it for that. Uh, I'll just show you what I'm currently working on right now. It's uh, Arian's mower with a Briggs & Stratton 675 EX engine. Uh, I actually brought this in for a friend of mine who uh, just bought a house in the late summer there. Uh, and he needed a mower because um, his was pretty much on the way out. Uh, so I have that mower for him. Uh, he's in no rush to get it, obviously, because there's a bunch of snow on the ground where he is. Uh, so... You know, I can take my time with it. I, I have till about February, March. Uh, well, no, I guess maybe March, April uh, to get it to him. Um, so there it is. It's in process. When I first got it, it actually didn't even run. Um, so it runs now. It runs a little bit rough. But when I first got it, it didn't even run at all. Uh, I've got another one. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, you can see the top of it here. It's... Uh, Yardworks, Yardworks mower with a, a power mower engine on it. 
Um, part of my little rant about, I guess I'll call it a rant, about maintaining your mower is that this, this yard works is, uh, it's covered in junk. Um, so what you're going to find, uh, sure you've maintained your mower, you've made, you've put your fuel line stabilizer in it, your mower is going to start in the spring. Uh, but you know, if you maintain your mower like that yard works, uh, what you're going to find is the mower deck is going to rot and it's going to start rusting. And then, uh, you know, you, you spend, uh, 250, 350 dollars on a lawnmower and you think you're good and you know, you should, uh, I, I Googled this cause I was curious how long should a lawnmower last? And, and I was really surprised to find out, uh, the answer to that was, uh, seven to 10 years. I was shocked. I didn't think that was true at all. Um, because, you know, quite frankly, uh, this one, this one specifically, if it was looked after properly, that's 10 years old, uh, according to the cert, to the build date on the engine plate. Uh, that's 10 years old. And, you know, if it was maintained properly, uh, this is actually my second or third one of these that I've had in, and they are amazing mowers. They, they, uh, it's got the auto choke on it, so you don't have to prime nothing. Uh, you, you know, you pull that little handle back for the engine brake. Uh, a light tug on the on the pull cord and it fires up and it's big it's powerful it's got a they're amazing mowers and they run like a dream um and it's 10 years old so i was i was really shocked to find out that seven to ten year um life shelf life on on mowers um you know but if you look after it like this one or if you look after it like the Arians was, uh, by the previous owner, um, yeah, it's not going to last. I maybe give it five to seven years, uh, just because of the sheer fact that, um, you know, your mower might run, run well if you've maintained the motor. Um, but the deck is going to rot out and, and then you're going to be pushing it to the side of the curb and the scrap metal guys are going to come by and get it. And, you know, they're going to drive by with their trailer and their fridges and stoves and four or five other mowers, maybe a snow blower, uh, some steel rims. And, you know, they're going to pick up your mower too. Uh, and most of those guys, they're going to take that mower, they're going to clean it up and they're just going to make a run again and sell it. Uh, that's what most of those guys do. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's my take on, uh, on maintaining your mower. You know, it doesn't take much to, you know, take a rag, wipe it off, you know, keep, keep the deck clean, uh, you know, unplug the spark plug, put it up on, uh, up on a table or something like that. And, uh, you know, unplug the spark plug, important to unplug the spark plug, put it up on a table and clean the underside of the deck too, because, you know, if you cut your grass and it's been raining or, you know, in the spring, the, the ground is really wet. Uh, you know, you, you go to cut your grass and, uh, it all just clumps, it clumps up and it sticks to the bottom of the deck and then, you know, you put it away and it sits there for a week and, and the grass is really wet. And what it does is it rots your deck from the underside up, right? So, uh, what you find is, uh, you know, you're killing the lawnmower a lot sooner than what it needs to be because... In my opinion, mowers should last a lot longer than seven to ten years. Uh, I think my mower, my mower, I, th I think it's got to be around eleven, ten or eleven years old, uh, and it looks brand new. It ab it looks absolutely brand new. Uh, it runs amazing. The drive system on it works perfectly. I've never had any problems with anything on that mower. Uh, except for when I screwed up. Um, so yeah, you know, I maintain it a little bit. Uh, you know, you want to take an air hose, you can blow it off, um, blow off all the grass, blow off underneath. Um, you know, if you want to, um, uh, there, there's some mowers actually come with a water port. Uh, you can plug a, a garden hose into it. Uh, you run the water and then you start it. And what it does is that when the blade's spinning, it swishes the blade 
uh, around with all the water and it cleans out the underneath of the deck um, and that's good. Uh, you should really be shutting the water off and then running your mower for a couple more minutes so that, uh, well, the blade would act like a fan and it, it actually dries the underneath of it as well. And then if you're going to do that, uh, you know, again, grab a rag, uh, wipe off the deck, wipe it off a little bit, keep it clean. Um, you know, I, I've had mowers in uh, where the whole side of the engine block was covered in uh, oil and soot and gross uh, sludge. Uh, I'll cover that in another video, but, you know, th that's bad as well uh, for a world of different reasons. Um, if you're nervous about uh, going underneath your mower deck to clean it, um, I, I don't blame you. Um, you, you absolutely should be because if that motor starts spinning, uh, for some reason, you know, you could seriously injure yourself. So just make sure you're a little more confident with doing what you're doing. Uh, you'll actually see, I don't know if you can see, uh, the, the Arians that I have here, it's up on my table. I had to pick it up. I had to put my hands under here to, to pick it up. Um, uh, so the, the, the plug cable's off and it'll stay off until it goes back on the ground. Uh, I won't put that on. Um, there's another thing you can do also if you're nervous about the blade spinning, there's something you can buy. Looks like this. Uh, sorry, you can buy something that looks like this and what it does is, uh, you know, you, you, you back it off, you spin it, you raise this piece all the way up. And what you can do is uh, you pick a side of the mower, obviously uh, the chute is on this side, so I'd go to the other side. And what you do is you click that onto the deck and before you tighten it down, uh, you put the blade inside here, inside here, in this groove here. There, you can see it that way a little better. You put the blade inside this groove and then you crank this down all the way until it's fairly tight. And then what that does is uh, if, if for some bizarre reason the motor does fire up uh, and the blade starts spinning, it's only going to move that far, which, you know, the length of my finger. So, you know, four-ish inches. Uh, and it's, it's thick gauge steel. The, the blade isn't going to go through that. Um, you know, if you're worried about, uh, blades coming down and, uh, and hurting you, definitely get that. Um, if you need to take your blade off to sharpen it or whatever there, get one of these cause it'll hold the blade while you're trying to crank on it with your, uh, big wrench. That's my tips for today. Um, yeah, I think it, it, that's just, you know, my opinions, uh, again, um, again, I'm not, I'm not a pro if this is just my opinions, it's just what I've experienced in my, uh, 43 years on this earth. Um, you know, owning various lawnmowers, uh, purchasing various lawnmowers. Uh, I've been given various lawnmowers. Uh, and as I go through them, I just find random things. So the whole point of my videos is, is really just to give everybody, uh, what my experience is and what I did to fix or rectify or whatever the case may be. So, uh, if anybody has any opinions or, whatever, um, please just keep them respectful. Uh, put them in the comments. I, you know, I, I like constructive criticism. Uh, you know, all it does is develop me further in uh, my little venture here uh, with uh, lawnmowers, small engines, lawnmowers specifically. Um, maybe one day I'll get into something like, I almost bought a snowblower today. Uh, I have a very small driveway. I don't need a snowblower, but it was a pretty good deal. I almost bought it. Um, I'm pretty sure I can fix it, uh, but I didn't because, I, you know, like I said earlier in the video, uh, my 
uh, small, quote unquote, small engines lawnmower shop. Also doubles as a wood shop. Also doubles as storage. So I don't really have a lot of space. Um, you know, mowers, mowers are fairly small. You know, they're fairly compact. Uh, mowers in this, in my little shop here right now, I've got about six. Two are under a, a table, uh, kind of right in front of me. Uh, two are in the lower, I have a tire cart over there. They're in the lower deck of the tire cart. Um, I have the yard works over here and then I have the Aryans over here. So, you know, I've got six. Uh, I've had as much as eight or nine, I think it was. Uh, my wife laughed at me profusely, but whatever, I'm having fun with it. Um, if anybody has any questions or comments or would like to see something in video three, um, again, put it down in the comments, uh, subscribe, like the video, uh, share it if you'd like, uh, that's fine. Uh, I would love it. Uh, let's, I'm, I'm trying to get, uh, my goal, uh, my goal for this channel is a uh, hundred subscribers. Um, I don't know why I, I just have this, I have this need to hit the number 100. Um, so let's, hopefully I can get it to there. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really put a timeline on it. Um, so if it takes me a long time to get to a hundred, eh, so be it. Uh, but sooner the better. Cause then I don't know, just my personal thing. Um, I think that's it. So I think we're going to cut it off now. Uh, have a great night guys. Stay safe, everybody. Uh, you know, this pandemic is no joke. Uh, so stay safe, uh, stay home as much as you can do what you need to do. Um, thanks. Have a good night.